Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here. Now if you've been watching my last couple of videos, um, I've been looking at the updated and new features in CC 2020. And this was an image that I used to warp with. Now it's quite apt because one of the other features that we have is to remove background. Now there has been a background eraser tool, which I wasn't a big fan of. I'm not a big fan of any kind of uh, permanent editing tools. But um, if I show you in the layers panel here, we have a very kind of forgiving image to be able to remove the background from. Now, that said, it still takes a little bit of time to select and remove the background from things. If we can have that hassle removed from us and we can focus our time on something else, then hey, you know, who's going to complain about that? So we need to, first of all, um, make sure that we can't use this feature with a background because the feature we're looking for is then stored in the properties panel. And we have more options in here. This is the updated properties panel, which works a little bit more like uh, Illustrator and InDesign in that it's context sensitive. You'll see options appear in here depending on what tools you've got and the state of the file and things like that. Because our layer is locked to the background, we don't see the option we're looking for. But if I click on the unlock there and release it, then you'll notice that down here we have a button called remove background. So just to give this the full fanfare, I'll hover over and left click on remove background. And there it does it. Not only that, but it puts a layer mask on as well. How thoughtful is that of Photoshop? So just to bear in mind, when it did this, it kind of used a, a similar type of way to find the edges as select subject and that enhanced feature. So it's just look for an edge, look for the color and background, look for where the colors contrast and, and change very, very quickly for a contrasting edge. And then it's used that as a selection basis and then added a layer mask. So the neat thing about this is that, yeah, you could hold down the space bar and pan around and scrutinize this in detail. Perhaps here, if I wanted to tidy this edge up, then what I could do is hover over, click on the layer mask inside of here to go into masking mode, go over to my brush tool, make sure that my brush size is of a reasonable size, 13 pixels, yeah, somewhere about. Hardness, I'm going to increase that a touch. Now, the edge of the plant pot is a little bit fuzzy, a tiny little bit out of focus, so not a fully hard brush. Press return. And then make sure that, of course, I'm painting with white to reveal. And then um, click and hold down the mouse and drag across there. And I can just put that edge in there. So it's not quite so uneven around there like so. And it's a little bit of guesswork. You know, but if I do run back into the yellow, I could always then just use black as my foreground color and remove that. But um, yeah, this is, um, this is a, a good way forward. Um, so as I say, a little bit of tweaking afterwards. It doesn't always do a magic, fantastic job every time. Uh, not many tools do, but um, that at least will allow you to get a layer mask onto something, get most of the work done and um, remove the background. One thing I do want to mention is if I zoom back in again to where the points are on the cactus, we have lost them. So it's not subtle enough to pick up that detail let me show you what it looked like before. So if I hover over the layer mask, right click on it and choose disable layer mask, we have lost the points on the outside. They're quite nice. They're obviously a very prominent part of a cactus. So in this case, I wouldn't want to sacrifice that. So it's not subtle enough to detect it on this image. So there are limitations, of course, as with all tools. But um, again, if I right click enable layer mask on there to hide the background, it is at least one way that if you want to just cut something out from background quick and easy, that's how you can do it. So from the properties panel in the bottom options in there, it is remove background. And that's one of the new features in Photoshop 2020. Until next time, folks, farewell.